Hi everyone, welcome to Kotlin Tips. My name is Seb and today we are looking at how we can make operator functions work well with nullable values. So I have this small data class called Vec2. So it's just a two dimensional vector with an X and Y coordinate where I can add another vector to it. We can try this in this case, for example, we can write Vector2 and we'll add uh, four and three because that gives a nice symmetrical pattern here. And when we run this, we get a vector two, which is seven and seven. Now note, however, that in this configuration, I cannot write something like vec two plus null. Shouldn't be surprising since other in this case is not a nullable value. We can fix that part quite easily by marking the other vector as nullable. In this case, we can just define our variable other vector to be other, or in case there is no vector present, we'll just pass in the zero vector and then we'll just use this instead of other when we do our addition so now this code down here works and it behaves the way that i imagined it but i would also like to support the symmetrical variation of this so let's say i have another vector uh, which is null plus a vec2 of three and four by default, Kotlin tries to be helpful here and tries to find an overload in the Kotlin built-ins that's a nullable string plus, so this would return us a string. This is obviously not what we want. We would still want to have the same result as we had up here. This actually gives us a hint of what we are trying to do uh, because we need to write a function with a nullable vector to receiver, and we do that using an extension function because operator functions can also be defined on nullable receivers. So for example, we could write something like this, and that's perfectly valid. Since we know that in vector addition, we can just switch the two operands, uh, I can just return other plus this, in this case, change the return type to vector two, and now we can see that another vec, which we've defined down here, is now a vec two. If we run this example, we'll see that we get exactly what we expected. So if you need an operator to work with a nullable left-hand side like we had down here, then choose an extension function with a nullable receiver. This tip is obviously a little bit more specific, but I still hope you found it useful. That's it for this tip. Hoping to see you in the next one and take care.